All right, so we're about to kick off this live 12 man draft here. We're on the second pick. Here's a quick look at the scoring. A uh, little, little slanted towards some quarterbacks, so we'll have to get off our no quarterback uh, strategy a little bit. Six points for a touchdown pass, minus two for an interception, three points for a 300 yard game, four points for a 400 yard game. I think it's our turn. One per, per reception. Everything else pretty standard. I think it's our turn. All right. We are on the Draft clock. Draft Todd Gurley. The first guy, I believe, is a Packers fan. Or a, it was fan. a Cowboys fan. And we suspected that maybe, just maybe, he would want to take Ezekiel Elliott, making our choice very easy <laughs> for us. This will be my very first piece of Todd Gurley in any format. So this feels wonderful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus. I just took it over. <laughs> so I'm going to draft Todd Gurley, and then you take it back. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. That's not good. <laughs> we drafted Todd Gurley. <laughs> now abort, Jason. So he said, uh-oh. Hit refresh on it. Well, no, no what better way to start with a... Small heart attack and a little technical difficulty. Just a little icebreaker. Don't touch that anymore over there. Jason. We'll do it. He's <laughs> trying to look at what's going on in his draft. Can't have two people logged into the same draft, apparently. Figure that out on air. So we got a long ways to go before we're back. <laughs> Figure that out on air. You got to get the mic into your... In your I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute you then, Big Go. This is going to be the greatest moment in this <laughs> podcast history. We muted Big Go. Just kidding. You got Tony reallied. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can't talk either. It's gonna <laughs> sound terrible in the background with you know no micing it up. All right, so we're going here. Nothing but uh, nothing but time. Nothing but time. <clears throat> How are we gonna fill all this airtime? Nothing but running backs going off the board here. Yeah, rattle that off for him. Well, I don't. It's only at Kamara since I just got back into the draft. So Alvin Kamara fifth. David Johnson, sixth. Saquon Barkley, seventh. And now we're back up on the clock. Click that draft results there. We can see. So we had A B was the only wide receiver taken at third. And then Le'Veon, Kamara, David Johnson, Saquon, and now DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, boy. It's All fun right. being on the clock. We're, we got a while. We're basically just hoping that any of these running backs fall so we can grab another one. Weird, stupid scoring. Uh, uh, elevated a quarter quarterback play a little bit. Elevated the quarterback play, and we have to start three wide receivers, which is a huge bummer. We could also but flex I, out. But we have uh, a flex, so it's like having third. an extra player because so most team leagues don't have right. two flexes. So it's one quarterback, two running backs, three receivers, one flex, tight end, defense kicker. Five bench spots. So right now we are just biding time until hopefully we get a decent running back on the second go round. Leonard Fournette goes. Melvin Gordon goes. It's now on the eleventh pick. Still waiting around. I think maybe, just maybe, we'll see uh, Christian McCaffrey by the time we're ready to pick. People are super loving Christian McCaffrey, man. Yeah. I don't know. If hopefully he's we make get. It. Hopefully we get Dalvin Cook. That would be. There's no chance Christian McCaffrey's going to be on the board when we get back because mute is unmuted. He's unmuted. He's back. Yeah, like you said, said earlier, Casey, the uh, scoring favors the quarterbacks here, so you got to adapt to the settings. Six points of touchdown pass and the minus two. You want a, a decent well, and quarterback. There's three points for a 300 yard game. Right. Four points for a 400 yard game. Right. Five stupid points for a 500 stupid yard point game. Yeah. <laughs> there cool. is a little bit of return yards in here, but I think they're pretty negligible. It's 50 points. You got to get 50, 50 return, return yards. yards for a point. So it's like nothing. Oh well, yeah. Um, but defenses also get return yards, 50 yards per point. So. That's uh, like a interception return and fumble return type stuff. I, guess. I don't know. I don't know, what I don't know if it's special team return yards that's or a good question. Hmm. Fumble return yards. It's a lot of scoring going on. All right, so we got McCaffrey's off the board. Leonard. Wow. Melvin. Odell, Odell went there at eleventh. And then Julio rounded out the first round. Then Kareem Hunt, McCaffrey, and we're waiting. So those again. guys, the, the the end of the draft guys got. 
Uh, the 12th pick got Julio and Kareem Hunt back to back, and the guy that had the 11th pick Odell. took Odell, and then he wrapped around with Christian McCaffrey. So a couple of decent wide receiver running back pairings Combo. At, the, at the end there. Yeah, so we're if Dalvin Cook falls, we'll take him. If if it's not Dalvin Cook, we take Devontae Freeman. And we have the luxury of the little, most, pretty much a wraparound in this go around. Yeah, yeah. So are we splitting this? Is it is it a vote? Two, two votes makes the pick here. Two to is that one. What we're doing, gets Vico, the, gets we? the pass. That sounds good to me. All what is right. this? Fifty bucks a per? It's one hundred fifty dollars league. Yeah. All right, fifty dollars a man. Yeah, two to one vote takes it. Hopefully, we can get a lot of three to zeros, but we'll yeah. see what happens here. Well, see if. So if, if Dallin's not there, then you have a decision to make between Devontae Freeman and one of these wide receivers, right? Or no? You just take Devontae Freeman. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of, if, if Gronk's hanging around, he might be in the discussion for me, just swinging for the fences. I don't have a problem with that. And Yeah, into two. That's about as good as value as you get on him. Yeah. If some, I mean, we still got, we're talking like who, who we're, we still got seven players will fall off the board before we get to pick. So. Right now, as we're watching this clock tick down on this dude's pick, live, Keenan Allen, Devontae Adams, A.J. Green, Mike Evans, still there for some wide receivers. Gronk's up there. Devontae Freeman, Dalvin Cook is up there. So should be a fair amount of value falling off the board before we get to pick. But like you said, I mean, if there's if Dalvin Cook's there, I think that's a no-brainer. I'd be lobbying for uh, some Tyreek Hill if Gronk falls off. Dalvin Cook goes right there, makes that decision really easy for us. He's gone. Six picks to go. There's a look at the running backs here that are left. They fall off. Keenan goes. Huge bummer about McKinnon. Devastating. Really Didn't even get to see him in that offense. Oh, terrible bummer that you can't even get check him out with Kyle Shanahan's running game. Pretty much no chance he's going to be a 49er next year. Hard to see. Devontae Freeman goes, so... Makes it uh, oh, we're getting just blood dry here. Makes it a little tougher to pass up on some of these higher end wide receivers. Dying the death we're of all, a thousand paper cuts right now. <laughs> that's all right. You'll see. You'll 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 see us have to uh, have to adapt in the later rounds if we if we get stuck with high end wide receivers here. We can't push them to the side for some maybe running backs. Yeah. And we have to start three wide receivers, so that elevates the wide receiver a yeah, little we bit. We got two more picks before it's our turn. I'm kind of um, hoping for Gronk right here. I'd be, I I'm think good we're playing that. from behind. I think we're playing from ahead if we can get a Gronk and a and a Tyreek Hill. Todd Gurley, oh, yeah, to Gronk, go with Todd, a Gronk and a Tyreek Hill to go with Gurley. I like our chances. We, I don't know if we'll get. We I don't got, know if we'll get both those guys. Mike Evans goes. All right. right, sweating it out with the Gooch Ticklers here. Right, but we got two. We got one pick to go, and we got two guys we really would like to have. I don't know how y'all feel about the Tyreek Hill, but. Gronk still on the board. Aaron Rodgers, all right. All right. I'm fine if you want to go Gronk here. I, I kind of want to take Gronk because I don't want to miss him, and I don't mind any of the receivers left. I don't mind Tyreek Hill, but I Show would take Larry. I would take uh, Diggs. Right. I'm okay with T.Y. Sure. Like, cool with a, Tyreek Hill would be nice. Cool with a lot of these guys. I guess if I we didn't really take Gronk, them. we could might could take Kelsey with the next pick. Then as far as the running backs... Jordan Howard, Mixon Drake would be our selection. I don't mind Jordan Howard as one of the guys on the board here for the next pick. I, I want Gronk because I don't. Number one, I started it off saying this would be my first selection with uh, Gurley anywhere. This would be my first selection with Gronk anywhere. Yeah. It's just a total cut for the fences, and I can make up some ground later on in this draft, I think, because of maybe some of the uh, amateurism at yeah. the bottom of this draft. Amateurism. Love it. Let's Love it. do it. We're taking Gronk. Gronk off the board. There it goes. Boom. All right. So let's immediately start figuring this thing out. Mm -hmm. Jordan Howard's in the mix for me. Sure. Don't hate him. Put a little star. It'll put him up here. We don't have to. Jordan Howard gets the star. Circle gets the square. <laughs> Travis Kelsey off the board. Tyreek Hill. <sighs> ah, nail biter. All right. So it's Diggs. For me, it's Diggs, Larry, T.Y., or Jordan Howard. Man. We've got, got the long gap coming up here. Got the long gap long coming up here. gap. Should we take the, the last available running back? Yeah, I think, if, I, I think I would be back on the running backs here. Not that I don't I, love 
Diggs. I think I'd go T.Y. over Diggs here. I love Diggs and Fitzgerald just fine, but we got the long gap. We know there's going to be running backs that's going to fall off. Hopefully a couple quarterbacks in there too, and then we can get our get, get a couple of good wide receivers next go round. Mm. We'll be looking at what kind of running backs we looking like there. We got. Is there any any chance that we can justify taking Joe Mixon over Jordan Howard? I can't right now. I don't think so. Is there any reason that we need to be taking Stephon Diggs over these running backs? <clears throat> I don't hate. I don't hate taking another swing on Diggs. Yeah, I mean, I got or some Larry. Diggs. Larry just feels so safe. What do you guys think? Seconds. Palms are getting sweaty. Who what are we taking think? here? Diggs or Howard? Howard. Let's go Howard. I don't have any right. Howard. Be my first piece of Howard this year. I don't have any many any of my dynasty leagues, and I'm in minimal redraft leagues. Yeah, this is really my first redraft draft. It's kind of fun. All. Yeah. It's just one year. Who cares? Right. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Yeah. That's why if you're listening to this, because we're, you know, we're putting the redraft title on this uh, YouTube video slash podcast, and if you're, if you're listening to it because it's redraft and you don't have any dynasty teams, definitely get yourself a dynasty team. It's, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. But <clears throat> have, having a dynasty team makes your redraft league even more fun because, like I just said, you get to do whatever the hell you want. Right. I'm not as scared of... Uh, you're not those, those huge upswing guys who could be colossal devastations right. to, to your first couple of picks. It's a four four month turnaround here. If it doesn't work out, you're coming right. back to the drawing board next year. Brand new slate, whole right. new whole new slate. So the uh, the dynasty is absolutely where it's at, just from a strategic level and just being able to you know trying to manipulate your roster week after week and in the off season and rookies and all that good stuff, but. The old uh, redraft league will give you a chance to rinse and repeat. Absolutely. So Got to have a couple of those around. What do you think in case? We're a little behind the eight ball on receivers right yeah. now off the rip. The Gronk changes everything for us. But, I mean, he's going to be better than 90% of the starting receivers. I mean, Right. If, if, if Gronk is healthy, he's a top five wide receiver, and he's playing in the tight end position. Yeah. And He's, that flex is it a quarterback, running back? Why? I mean, is is it a, all is, three? It is. A, you can flex a tight end. Yeah, and it's full full, full PPR, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So we could we could get a little Trey Burton we could later. Get a little Trey Burton flex out Gronk. Oh, we could flex. I don't like them, it. Them boys. You don't like it? <laughs> well, the boys wouldn't know what to hit him if the Gronk was in the flex. We upgraded so Gronk. Gronk's not even in our tight end spot. We just put him in our flex. Yeah. yeah. So we've talked about this on podcast before. When you if you go back to like as far as fantasy pros keeps. Uh, the data. average of da- of data like Gronk is averaging like 17 points every time he touches a season you know it's just he's he is a huge advantage to have on your team the Patriots we just saw him only keep three uh, wide receivers on the roster and they did end up signing uh, the guy from New York Chad Henson and Chad Hansen and Amari Darbo. Amari Darbo but still like you have to figure that as long as Chris Hogan and Gronk are in this lineup. They are about to just feast. Oh, for sure. I'm pretty excited about it. Do we have an auto draft going on there for a second? Someone just joined in and didn't say rejoined. Does it say rejoined? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think anybody's so, time's going all the way down yet. Ours almost did there for a second. This one is right here, this pick. So we took Jordan Howard and then immediately Diggs and Larry Fitzgerald go off the board. So we were spot on with next BPA. Right, so still seventeen picks till we pick. Then Joe Mixon. So everybody, obviously, who we were just yeah. came out of our mouth is out of here. Everybody we we're talking about. Now it could be a huge mistake to not be taking Joe Mixon, but I'm, I don't like I don't have any Jordan Howard as long. You know, I, that's what you said, Big Code. I, I don't just, have any of these three guys yet. So. I feel like it's great. He's going to be just fine. He's going to be steady. There's going to be we, a good offensive line. We just took a little bit of risk with Gronk, and we were. Taking a little safeness with, with Jordan Howard. Right. Well, you're breaking in the, the you know, second-year quarterback in Chicago. It's the idea of being able to lean on Jordan Howard. They got a better offensive line than Cincinnati does. And all the stats and uh, that uh, have come out about how productive Jordan Howard's been running the ball out of the shotgun in his career. And they want um, to keep him out there on some third-down situations. Possibly. We'll see how that works out. But, I mean – the uh if if jordan howard's efficiency goes up i mean his volume has been through the roof obviously it's a different regime 
and they're not going to be running the ball when they're down by 20. But you definitely know, just better weapons all got, around them. Got better weapons all around them, and now they got they just picked up Khalil Mack. Better got, scheme. Kept their defensive coordinator in Vic Fangio, and I think the whole team is going to be better than last year. Not only it's just gotta be better schemes and coaching. No John Fox. Mm-mm. So we're still a bit ways away. We got 15 <laughs> more picks that fall off, so we're going to see some you know good players fall off. So if we need this 12 man t- this 12 man league right here. So. Yeah, there goes Juju. There goes Drake. That's fine. I got in a one year scenario. I got no problem seeing Juju fall off to everybody else's team. Agreed. Thielen was we missed that one in Ty. So I mean, obviously you like to kind of start thinking about what you're going to do here, but I I like to wait till it gets a little closer and see what see what my options are. Well, I got a question here. Trying so to take what the best kind of value left for my team is. Let's go through and hit a couple stars so we can fill that queue up and be looking and. All right. So we can go star a couple guys. Obviously, there's no reason to star Amari Cooper with 12 picks left. He's going to be gone. But the stuff like that, you know. Jarvis for sure. Do we take uh, – I'm, da- I'm da- I guess I'm down to take Hogan even though we have Gronk. I mean, shit. Just for, get all the points in that offense. Yeah. How about a, how about a home run cut, cut on a Josh Gordon potential? Home, potential league winner there in Josh Gordon. Starred. I'm going to hit Allen Robinson as well. Jay, there's no way Casey wasn't hitting Allen Robinson there. It's just a, it's a good swing. I think Brandon Cooks is could be a, a decent swing a little later. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we got in the running back category. You don't think Landry will stick around I here? Don't, I don't think so. We got a little ways to go. People hate him. He's a brown. Yeah, it's possible. We got Todd Gurley at two. That is so awesome. We got Todd Gurley at two. Royce Freeman being named number one. Probably somebody will reach up and grab him before we get a chance at him. I'm not necessarily trying to take him here. There goes Landry Anyhow. Landry and Ertz. Uh, as far as these running backs go right now, I'm obviously I like Collins, but I don't think he's going to be hanging around. By, nine, by it's our turn again. Nine more picks. McCoy, maybe. I mean, Lamar Miller piques my interest, getting six Six games at, at least, I think, right? Yeah. Of, of freedom without any foreman breathing down his neck. At yeah. least six games. They just pupped foreman? Mm-hmm. There's Royce Freeman off the board. Boom. Still got eight more picks to our turn. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Mark Ingram chit-chat. I don't really hate putting Mark Ingram on my team. This is a bit of a shorter bench situation, so it's only five bench spots. Um, so Good that know. will clog you up a little bit for four weeks. But Deshaun Watson goes. Someone's nice upset play. about it. What's the quarterbacks look like here? We'll get a, put think, an eye on those boys. I think those were the first two off the board. The quarterbacks. Cam. Cam, Russell, Drew. Who's going to throw for the most here, man? It's Stafford, right? Or, or Phil Riv or Ben Nugiberger? We get I like I like Roethlisberger in this kind of scenario of just bogus 300 points. yard for, yeah. bonus points for long plays. It's 40 points. You get 40 another points, extra point. 40 yards is a point. Really? A 40 yeah. yard pass. All right. And, even, so if, and a, t- and a 40 and yard touchdown is another point. So it could be two extra points for yeah. 40 yards. Brandon Cooks, Alex Collins off the board there. So we're down to five picks before us. And I, I'm I'm down to, we got to forget the quarterbacks on this pass, right, guys? Sure. I'm, because I'm 100% okay with Ben Roethlisberger or Phil Rivers in this situation. Agreed. Jimmy Graham off the board. Down to four picks before we get a, a shot here. That's a bummer with Doug Baldwin. It makes me feel so much more unsettled. Oh, the knee injury with Doug Baldwin. That's horrible. Hopefully he falls off right here in front of us and we don't even have to look at him. That would be nice. What do you like with these guys? I mean, I don't hate Demarius. I mean, Cam Newton's gone. I, I think my vote. You got any, anybody want to star up one of these running backs? Lamar, interest you? I could, I could star up Lamar. Sure. Anybody else? I think we got to get at least a, ru- a wide receiver. We probably got to get two wide receivers here. Probably should. I say we, we need to try to zero in on these wide receivers as well. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I think I'm most intrigued with Hogan on this list right now. How y'all feel about that? I mean, I love Chris Hogan's game, game to game, you know, output, but <coughs> lands on that shoulder wrong one time and he's, <laughs> Down there with a Q Him and Gronk could go in the same game. Yeah, right. I, that's putting a lot of 
A lot of eggs in that basket. How many we got left? We got three picks till our turn. I mean, do we? Are we out on Doug Baldwin? If I don't. He's sitting here? I don't think I'm out on Doug Baldwin. I think it'll be just. I think it'll be fine. I, I think an 85, 90 percent Doug Baldwin will still catch a bunch of balls. It sucks because it could be two two games and he's like, oh, my for the year. Up. Yeah. yeah, that's a big stab. It's not any worse. Than Chris Thomas Hogan. goes. That's solid. Lashawn McCoy. We got one more pick. Two, one more pick. Greg Olson goes. That's Oof. huge. All right. Yeah, but what I, do we do? Let's take that first home run. Let's take that swing on Josh Gordon. I got to vote in for Josh Gordon. What you voting there? Casey? Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm pretty conflicted on all these receivers if you, here. If we need to go running back, we could go running back here and get one receiver on the way back. Um, I don't necessarily think that. Oh, Scarlett doesn't like it. Scarlett, Scarlett does you need to get a excited. wide receiver. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm kind of cool with. <sighs> All right, Scar. We're going to have to close that window. Scar doesn't like when people walk out in there. You go, you getting Josh? The we got 40 seconds. You don't have to hit that button right this second. I, 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 I'm, I kind of, I don't know how I feel about Josh Gordon. I got, I got him in another league. I'm a little scared. I, I think it, I don't know. Well, I guess we can find other wide receivers if it doesn't pan out. So it's a solid, solid upswing. Right. With taking Josh and, and we can make up for this loss. I guess I could go Josh Gordon. Hmm. All right. The home run cut is where we've swung out of our shoes. We have hit ourselves in the face with the bat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all see that dude? I guess let's, 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 let's stay on it here. Hogan so, and Drew Brees off the board. We we could take Dougie still. We could take A Rob, Marvin Jones, Emmanuel Marvin Sanders. Marvin Jones in a, in a big play league is not bad. True, forty yard catches. That's all he does. He gets two of those a game. Mm-hmm. I think I would go Allen Robinson here. Oh, we're gonna make, take swings. Vote. I I would I would vote for Marvin Jones or Doug over Allen Robinson. I mean, I can take Doug Baldwin. I, I, I can take I don't Lamar have, Miller. I, I don't know why I have a problem with. Oh, Alan you got Robinson. a huge problem with him for no it, reason. Just in this one one year scenario, if this was dynasty, it'd be different. But I what's the running back? Lamar Miller would be the choice, right? We probably need a wide receiver. We just took Josh Gordon. We probably need a guy who is not a, a right. That's mark. why I don't really like any of these yeah. three dudes here: Corey Davis, Allen Robinson, Doug Baldwin. But yeah, I'm definitely out on Corey Davis for the one year. Doug right. with a bad knee or Marvin Jones, or is there a running back other than Lamar Miller we feel like we need? I don't think so. Derrick Henry, anybody? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, back to the wide don't receivers then. 20 seconds. We got Lamar Miller and, and, and Robinson started. What are we and, doing? Uh, it's hard to pick. Hey, Doug. Rob? Doug's hurt. It's I hard to vote. pick him. Let's I go, can, Doug. Or, right. or Marvin if we got time. We took I don't out. want Marvin Jones. He's out on not, Marvin. Not right here. I got to right. give me the swing on Doug Baldwin. We're taking a swing on Doug Baldwin. We'll likely circle back around the old, uh, what's his name? Wide receiver two over there in Seattle. Here. Tyler Lockett. Oh, I got to circle around to Tyler Lockett later. I mean, I'm just, we got two swings on, on wide receivers, and you might say that's irresponsible, and you made some bad choices. Josh Gordon's got a ton of upside. Doug Baldwin could be pretty PPR safe. Maybe he's not going to be. You know, crazy. The way Doug Ball was as good a, as he's been. He's been a wide receiver one three years in a row. Um, but I feel like I can make up. I can draft three other wide receivers in here and if and play those guys when it, the week one, if I need to, or any week when I need to, and and be all right. I'm just taking taking cuts at this point. Well, I I like that the way you just said that because we took Josh Gordon and I mean obviously Baldwin has a somewhat of a knee, knee situation and maybe that's a little wild swing there but we all love Doug Baldwin and his like I said three years in a row he's been a wide receiver one he's been as consistent as anybody um but it's a short bench league like Casey was saying so when you got a short bench that means the waiver wire is going to be hot and heavy so Mm -hmm. if there's any anything that you can pull off of a short bench deep waiver wire it's a wide receiver right so I think that our the home run cuts we just took in the wide receiver game is solid um and I think if I had to do it again I would I would I would have taken Lamar Miller instead of Doug Baldwin. And he fell off right after Doug Baldwin. Which that I would think have that been was probably a better pick. Probably. 
Oh, what? Uh, Lamar Miller over Doug Baldwin? Yeah. Maybe. Just because of the... So just six be, weeks of guaranteed work. It's going to be consistent. Yeah, and I think he'll got no problem being a RB2 all season. Right, that would have been in our flex. RB1 upside. Yeah. On a great offense. Well, we got two solid WR1s potentially in, in the, what, fourth and fifth round? Yeah, I don't feel good about it. It's a risk. But I'm, like I said, I feel com- com- very confident in making that up through the back end of this thing and just having some high potential as well that's what you're swinging that's what you're trying to do in dynasty i'm just trying to not mess it up and put together parts and pieces solid assets and yeah b- and build great depth behind it right in this swing obviously you want to put together like i'm going to go down here i'm going to draft some other consistent guys underneath them just in case they're not panning out right to help me stabilize and i'm just going to be swinging for the fences th- the whole time and in, in my well, I, th- I, I like that. It's a good plan because that's, again, short bench league, hyperactive waiver wire, plenty of wide receivers to be found here. I mean, we uh, even, I mean, you still play dynasty in a one week scenario. Obviously, we you, you have to plan for the future and the way you build your team. But even in a dynasty league, you're, you know, we can we can go to bat here, starting with Robert Woods as our first receiver in most leagues, mm-hmm. you know, and, and be all right. Obviously, uh, we, you know, we got Gurley, so we're in, you get a pick in a redraft league in the top four picks, and you get one of those top four running backs. You have a, you have a weekly advantage already because that's like two guys in your lineup. Obviously, those other that next tier running backs at the back end of the first round, top end of the second round, those guys could be awesome, but they don't they don't have the the week to week upside that a Gurley and a David Johnson and a Zeke and a Le'Veon Bell does. So we got Gurley, and then obviously we took our swing on jordan howard and if jordan howard comes out and plays ball for us then we'll be all right i don't think we took us i think i think that was the safest him and Gurley and are just safe i think there's a swing taken on howard yeah all right so we got still got another 14 picks left so there's still that's what happens when you're on the end it's fun to pick two in a row but then you got to watch a bunch of fellas fall off and Marquise Goodwin goes, Jay Ajayi, Kirk Cousins. Pains me to say we probably need to keep an eyeball on the quarterbacks, but yeah. at the same time, even in the even in the uh, adjusted quarter points settings, there there's still a still a an amount of sameness for the quarterbacks. So you know, depend. We've already seen Tom Brady and Drew Brees fall off, which is your you know first ballot Hall of Famers, and nobody would really be worried about him for one more good year i'm su- completely surprised that russell wilson is still sitting there um to be quite honest with you with the other guys falling off but like casey said big ben roethlisberger is a really good quarterback in this scenario andrew luck's still there yeah i don't um, mind any of those dudes philip rivers matthew stafford would be a solid play russell wilson so and then so the idea is there goes russell wilson after emmanuel sanders and derrick henry all the other guys that already have quarterbacks here are not going to take another one anytime soon. So I mean, you never know. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, you could battle. I mean, first pick around. If we if nine picks goes off the board, Mark Ingram's still there. I think I'll raise my hand for Mark Ingram here. G, let me let think. Me think. <laughs> um, sure. sure. I mean, the Saints just signed Gillisley, just trying to find somebody to take workhorse carries away from Alvin Kamara. I don't know what's going on over there. Me neither. I don't know why you just didn't leave Jonathan Williams what there. What's wrong with Jonathan Williams? Jeez. They like Mikey Two Gills. Yeah, apparently. Two Gills. <laughs> Trey Burton off the board. Oh, wow. Boy. Someone's been listening to us. Who is oh, that? Oh, boy. No idea. No there goes idea. the uh, flex tight end. We can still keep our eyes on. Uh, oh, we definitely need another one to finish. Well, I guess not. This would be a hot and heavy, be a bunch of waiver wire activity here. We can put a lay something down on hot Jordan Reed in a couple rounds. Hot Jordan Reed. We got a we got Doug Baldwin with a bum knee and uh, Josh Gordon with you know all upside here on out, just like Casey sobriety. said. Sobriety, completely, completely swinging for the fences. And this is the type of league where you could put you could build half your team off the waiver wire after the first couple of weeks if you had to. What y'all feeling about Jamal Williams? Every, as it, every day goes by, I, f- I feel more and more intrigued. <laughs> definitely not upset if he would be on our squad 
No. They're not going to hand it to him three times on the goal line, but. It was a little small awesome. tight end run there. We got seven picks left. Still some. Still Marvin Jones, Robert Woods the on the board. board. Do what? Evan Ingram off the board right behind Trey Burton there. Take a click at that trap board there. See if we can see who's on the, each other's teams. The right bes- positions drafted grid or draft board. Yeah, it's the, see about that draft board mm-hmm. right there. So we got, where are we at? We're over there. At, I said good day, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, that thing's coming back at us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarterbacks off the board already. So if we don't take a quarterback here, there's one – two three five four teams between us that right. don't have one yet well seven been drafted then there's five teams that don't have a quarterback so and we're one of them right so i, just I don't know if we get noogie burger on if we pass on him this this go around that would be ben roethlisberger in case you were wondering <laughs> who that was it's not noogie burger noodle born <laughs> Mrs. Um, Noodle, Bur- Mrs. Noogie Burger, <laughs> these pooches aren't going to need any primping. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Marvin Jones off the board. Solid pick there. I mean, I guess. Deion Lewis, a quick click. A we're, quick click. All of a sudden, we're only five picks away, gentlemen. We need to really zero in here. What boys. are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, my gosh. Robert Woods, certainly. Robert Woods. Robert Woods can get a star on my team any day of the week. Will Fuller, Will Fuller. in this format. What's his uh click that little note on Will Fuller? Hamstring. Hammy? Likely to play week one. Oh, we got so many likely to play week one. Mark ones. Ingram off the board. Cooper oh. Cup. That's a stab in the heart. Been doubling down on Mark Ingram everywhere. Take or, Rex Burkhead. Take Alfred Morris. Slight knee tear. <laughs> For real? Add him to our squad. No way. We gotta stay. We got to get Alfred Morris. Boy, we got to we got to stay off the knee tear with Rex Burkhead here. Right? Is Alfred Morris in play here? Holy crap. Did we I, you got to take you take hide over Alfred Morris? Uh Here's the thing. I love when the here's a yeah. thing comes out. Alfred Morris is going to do wonders. There's a definitely a chance for double digit touchdowns on this squad that he has but this is going to be just like it was on the Cowboys last year I feel like like he he's probably going to produce well enough in the run game but if he doesn't have 100 yards and a touchdown if he had 80 yards and no touchdown it's it's not going to be a great day for you yeah like I just Breed is going to come in and steal the pass work maybe I mean if Alfred catches two or three balls a game then it's not the end of the world and that's definitely a possibility He's always looked good in this sort of system as going back with Kyle's pops. Sure. So I don't have a problem taking Alfred Morris. I just, I think that there's a, it's great for everybody who's snagging him up late now. Yeah. Kyle Rudolph Rudolph already had him, but what's up with the wide receivers? I'm a little, little scared that it's going to end up being just a bunch of rushing yards that don't amount to a ton of fantasy points unless there's a touchdown. So Robert Woods, I'd star him up, star up some players here. I'll shine off the board. Somebody might not know he's on the pup. Goskowski goes, and that is no joke. Guys, this really happened. He's Somebody d- already took a kicker. All right, you guys look peek at quarterbacks real quick? I guess. Matt Stafford, going to throw a ton, huh? There's Matt Patricia going to. Change you guys for the first time. I ever. think with Jimmy G and Patrick Mahomes still on the board and Carson Wentz, even though he's got, we got a little pass, Andrew Luck. Luck. I think there, I think there's a good chance we pass. get we get Ben Brothelsberger at worst yeah. case scenario next round. Stab on Carlos, Alfred. I think you got it. We're we gonna go wide receiver here. I think so. You like Will Fuller or Robert Woods? I say we need some stability. Well, Robert Woods doesn't have the medic sign beside his name. <laughs> Probably a better better draft pick. Well, let's pick him. I don't have a problem taking Will Fuller with our next pick here either. Not the worst idea there. What's the tight end looking like? Mm. 
Little Delaney, Joku, Reed, Kittle. I think I'm all right for now. We're about to pick again here. One more pick. Who just went off the board? Jordy Nelson. So it's Alfred Morris or it's Will Fuller. Or Carlos. Or Carlos Hyde. Carlos is about to do some work, I feel like. Alfred Morris has less in his way, but Carlos is be definitely a better receiver. Probably won't get Jamal Williams on the comeback. Robbie Anderson? Has he got any game suspended yet? He's, He's not suspended yet. They haven't straight. They haven't they haven't He's come straight. out with it. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Stafford off the board. All right. It's a nail biter. Crowder's got the little medical uh doodad. What is up with the medical medic tent over there by Crowder? We don't need that. Doesn't doesn't say? Groin. Oh, uh, the worst. So Stefan Diggs injury. So I think I'm I'm Will Fuller, Sammy Watkins. Or uh, or Pierre right here. Pierre would be pretty I don't safe. actually really don't mind Crabtree either. Yeah. Crabtree would probably be pretty safe. Will Fuller's a swing. Sammy's a swing. With no medical sign next to his name. But not quite. I don't know what that quarterback is going to be able to do for I, everybody. I, I say I got my vote on Will Fuller or running back. Hyde or Morris. Do, who? What running backs do we have? Just Gurley and uh, Jordan Howard. And that's it? Mm hmm We could grab Carlos Hyde. I'm fine with that. Boom. Will Fuller's a pretty good stab here. Pretty good stab, but Carlos Hyde ain't going to be around, and we can get a decent. Kenny Stills will probably be a pretty good play in this league with the 40-yard catches. Yeah, I was, I was – going to call his name out as a decent replacement for Will Fuller, but I just imagine that both of those guys are gone before we get back around. Alfred Morris gone right after Carlos Hyde. Always feels a little bit good to have the guys you've been talking about go right after you make a pick. Mm -hmm. that pretty but much it also is like, dang it, I knew, I knew yeah. it was all right to get that guy. I should have yeah. done that like we did with uh, Lamar Miller. So if we'd have taken Lamar Miller there, we probably wouldn't have taken Hyde there and we go uh, we grab Will Fuller. Possibly. Most likely. So we end up with Josh no, Gordon, no Doug Baldwin. We end up with no Doug. We end up with Doug Baldwin and Carlos Hyde instead of Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller and Will Fuller. Will Fuller. So I terrible. Think Chris Thompson off the board. Is he not on the pup? He's he's. I don't know what his deal is. He's them boys said uh. Yeah, he's off my redraft list when somebody says he's not going to be ready till November mentally. Coaches said he look he looks amazing, but he's over there doubting himself, so he I'm, is. He said I'm yeah, he said I don't know if I feel right until November. Whatever that means, obviously he's coming back from a broken leg, but I mean, football as much as any sport I've ever heard of is all about some confidence. If you're not out there running playing confident, what are you doing? You definitely got to have confidence in your injury. Are you going to be hesitant? So what's our team? Let me get a little team review here. What we got? We got Todd Gurley, first round. Mm. On the turn, right around the turn. We're Rob Gronkowski, Jordan Howard. Come back, double down with a Josh Gordon, Doug Baldwin combo. Risky. Risky. Somebody's calling us a bunch of idiots. So, for sure. Then we try to settle down the riskiness with the Robert Woods play. And a Carlos Hyde. And then Carlos Hyde to stabilize the ship there. That's not I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of sucks picking out of the, the two spot, but not when you get girly. Well, that's there's a lot of been talk a lot of talk all preseason long about how nice it is to be in the back to be able to get that second guy, but that second running back, that second when, workhorse. Like Casey said, you take you get Gurley. I mean, you can't you can't can't get any better than that. I mean, you got you got a weekly advantage by having one of those top four running backs every single week. So yeah, give up a little bit. We got Gronk as well. We're gonna watch the quarterbacks here, see what happens. Yeah, with Stafford going, that could have created a little bit of a run. Nobody knows what to do in this no man's land of the middle rounds. Devin Punches off the board. Wasn't the bad. That's a bad. That's a good pick. 
Nelson Aguilar, Good solid pick. value there. Rex Burkhead finally goes off. Somebody gets torn knee Rex Burkhead, but that could be super solid. Oh, well, them boys just catching only holding those three wide receivers. Rex and James White and Sony all about to eat. Crowder off the board with his bus up growing. I hope he does good. Need him to. Need him to. Got some big stock in Crowder this year. So something I wanted to bring up, this is obviously a, a dynasty show here, and we hit that pretty hard all off season long because it never ends. And if, if you're just a redraft league, that's really the only place you can get a podcast on football in the off season is if it's a dynasty league. But uh, I just I wanted to say that most of the stuff, you know, for, if you're just listening to us because this is a redraft thing, you can you can stay on this show. We give you plenty of good info that definitely help, can help your your redraft team throughout the the year. It's basically dynasty is basically a redraft league when you're in the season. Right. We got to make all these starting decisions just like you guys do. And you know we're here here married to the game. We're just trying to make sense of what's going on in this ever changing NFL league with. 32 different teams with a new injury every day coaches and offensive schemes are all different we're just we got a whole crop of rookie quarterbacks about to come in and shake things up so definitely stay tuned because we're going to keep on top of all this stuff and bring you what you need to, to, to succeed redraft or dynasty obviously we focus on dynasty and we happen to just be in this redraft league with casey here and thought we'd throw on the mics and record this for a sweet little youtube video to help out with the redraft listeners but definitely don't don't not come back because you think we're dynasty and it won't help you because it'll definitely help. Sure. sure. I like it. It's just, I mean, yeah, it is a dynasty podcast and we talk dynasty, but if we do a lot of football talk. All you, that's you the only put, criteria you need to listen to the show is you like football. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We talk about some trades that won't, won't really be, um, you relevant know, if relevant it's a for a redraft type scenario with draft right. picks and this all that stuff. The values stuff. change a little bit. Right. The values do change a little bit, but the football talk is still there and the player to player value is, is, might be a little different for one year league, but you still get enough football talk and enough per you know. Hey, this player, you know, whether we're talking about Pierre Garcon, Adrian Peterson, and or David Njoku, the last three guys picked off of this draft from week to week standpoint, you'll be able to pick up enough out of our podcast. I'm sure to help your team, even if it's just redraft, like Jay Wayne said. Absolutely, and you can go over to the uh, our website, the ffdynasty.com. There's some forums there. You can get your redraft questions in there if you want. We don't mind. You know, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some flexual production throughout the year on the show and deciding who to put in your in your flex, throwing up listener questions and stuff like that. So definitely get involved. Hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We have individual handles at IMC Myers at Dynasty Big Co at J Wayne's World. Hit us up. Still have all this all this jibber jabber. We still have five picks to go, but it's coming back up to us. Still got Will Fuller and Sammy Watkins on the board, so I like that. There goes Robbie Anderson. We were talking about him. They, the Jets named Sam Darnold their starting quarterback, so I don't know if that changes anything for you. I guess it's whatever. Let's do it. He's yeah. going to complete some balls. All right, so here we were, well, we were kind of wanted to see what happens with the quarterbacks. Now Luck's off the board. Yep. I think we probably got to get a quarterback with one of these two picks, right? What color of the two, quarterbacks? Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, nine. Nine quarterbacks have been drafted. We can be one of the last ones to get our quarterback for sure. What do we got going on here? So, Phil Riv, Ben Noogieberger still there. Jimmy. What are you guys feeling about that? Probably, probably Ben Roethlisberger, huh? I was kind of feeling some Andrew Luck, hoping he would be there on this comeback around. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to say that I could wait even for the next go around here, but people are, I bet you people will take a second quarterback because of bye weeks. That's how dumb redraft people are sometimes. They <laughs> no, want a honestly, quarterback. People do dumb right. stuff too. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. What are the other, what's, so what are the running backs looking like? Let's look through these real quick, star some guys up. I mean, Will Fuller's still hanging around. I think if he's there, we're going to maybe grab him. Yeah. Jordan Reed goes. Sterling Shepard, Aaron That's a Jones. Tough swallow. Peyton Barber. Will Fuller right in front of us. Ugh, daggered. Oh, daggered. So we got, ooh, a little Tariq Cohen. A 
A little Tevin Coleman, Sammy Watkins. Matt Breida. I think he's might be a little early for Matt Breida. I don't know. Maybe not. What are you guys thinking? I could star up Tevin Coleman over there. I mean, I think you need to star up Peyton Barber, right? He's coming in for the workload. I, yeah. I mean, if we don't... I don't. I don't hate Crowell at all, but they just put Elijah McGuire on IR. So yeah. I mean, if you don't, if you don't take Crowell, you could try to sneak Bilal Powell in a little later. He's not. Well, they're all on the between Bilal Powell and and uh, Brita. They're on the board already as far as the rankings here. So they're up there. Kenny Stills, Keelan Cole. Um, it's too early for Keelan. I mean, I'm down to take Kenny Stills right here. I don't think Jabari, who's got the next picks, hip on Kenny Stills by any stretch of the imagination. But as far as the big play, I could go Kenny points, or Sammy. I could too. Who we we got? Eighteen seconds. You want Tevin Coleman? Didn't we just take a running back? We just took Carlos Side. We'll take Kenny, and then we might take a swing on Sammy Watkins right here. Is he's got a healthy foot? Is 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 Peyton Barber deserving to be in this spot here? I don't I, know. That's the that's the toughest question to ask. Isn't you know, it that's a very it tough seems question. Like he looks so solid in the preseason He looks good, games. and it could just be a steal. It, Peyton Barber, somebody said, I forget who it was. I saw. Went, oh, he took Tevin Coleman on us. Somebody said Peyton Barber is going to be this year's Alex Collins. And uh, it sure would be nice to get him this pit in the ninth round here to stabilize our running backs if it really is. Yeah. Uh, Peyton Barber or Sammy Watkins? I got no problem taking Sammy Watkins right here. I say we swing on Sammy. I vote Peyton. What do you got, Case? I don't know. I'm going to wait a minute and see. We have one minute to wait. (laughs) We have that one minute to wait. (laughs) I think you're in luck. (laughs) We have the minute. Obviously, Peyton Barber is going to be the starter for at least the first week or three. Yeah. I do think that Ronald Jones gets on the field and you'll see a bit, lot better Ronald Jones than you were, have been seeing. I think so as well. Nobody wants to talk about the, the time where Ronald Jones lined up out wide and ran, ran a, a go route, route and caught that thing. I completely agree. Um, so there's definitely some... some he's, just, he's got so much ground to make up. I think you're safe for three or four games. Don't even know if we need that three or four games. So maybe Breed right. is a better pick than Barber because Breed is the one that we need. we might need second half of the season when if Alfred runs out of gas or Breed just comes back healthy. It's hard to... It's hard to make up your mind. 12 without, seconds here. I'll see you in that guy. Sammy. Sammy gets the vote. Yes. Well, here's – I don't <laughs> – there's plenty of receivers to still take for sure. I can understand that argument 100%. And, but running backs, like, there's a ton of, you know, indecision on what's going to happen with all these guys. Peyton Barber. Sure. And if you're liking Peyton Barber, I mean, I think you almost have to like Isaiah Crowell more. Like, Isaiah Crowell's – should be the workhorse there and if not like we can wait a minute and i can take a shot on marlon mack down here i could take a shot on brita down here hopefully next time around i could take a shot on Bilal pal i could even take a shot on rashad penny and see a rashad penny and see if there's 20 carries a game in week by week six with yeah. that guy um i'm like there's jordan wilkins there's you know there's some other guys that take swings on who there's my there's the cheat code ty montgomery got plenty of ways for him to get points right Corey clement hanging out around down there i've really come around to the idea with all the wide receiver problems in new england for james white is a is a nice late round pickup big co's coming around on james white I think we need to take a probably a quarterback. Well, a lot of things have changed since when I was uh-huh. saying I wasn't didn't want James White in those. A lot mock of things drafts. have that changed was, with the running backs in New England, but one thing hasn't, and that's James White. He's always there. He's always there. Big game, James. Big game, James. Julian Edelman goes off the board right after us. Not Carson gonna, Wentz goes. So I think we need to be probably really thinking about a quarterback <laughs> for real, for real this time. We said we were going to elevate him. We pushed him down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say we pushed him down. Still got Phil, Jimmy, and Ben out there. We can't be. We got to be the last guy to take a quarterback. I mean, yeah. (laughs) Matt Ryan, million points. I know people may not like this, but I think Derek Carr could be ready to do some work. Yeah, they don't got Khalil Mack, and a defense. I think they needed him. This might not be a bad league to grab two quarterbacks. 
The and play match so short. Play matchups because the bench of the, is so short. So you're going down to a four man bench once you grab two quarterbacks. Right. Well, that's true. I don't want to do that. I don't want to live that life. All and right. we got we got some foots and some varieties. And I some agree hammies. with you, but yeah, we got plenty of risky guys on our team that we may need to be <laughs> backing up with backing up with other dudes, position players. How many? What, what round are we in now? This, is, this was round nine of fifteen. So this is uh, scooting right along. Fifty minutes. We got three bench spots left. That's all. Kicker, Ooh, kicker defense, defense and quarterback. quarterback. Killing me with the lack of bench spots. Three bench here. spots. We definitely can't have two QBs. No, you're right. We're out on the two QBs just like that. Just just like that. <laughs> oh yeah, hell DJ bring that back. I think I think it's hell yeah, DJ bring that back. I don't I like I like Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen can be some fun. You gotta kiss him goodbye with fifteen picks before we get back out. True. Yeah. I mean Brita Powell. I don't hate taking a stab on Marlon Mack. How could you? Is there a new update on him? What's what's guy? What's He's he got not going practicing. on? Blew his hamstring off. Still not pra- practicing. Jordan Wilkins is down there hanging around. So what quarterback? What what is our running back situation looking like? We still only have three. Carlos Hyde. We got Gurley, Hyde, Jordan, Jordan Howard. Howard. Ooh, skinny in the running back. Mm-hmm. Skinny. But we got tied though. But we well, got once we took Gronk, that changed yeah. a lot. That well, we didn't. But we didn't have anybody to, to even get in that second round. I mean, I guess you could, we could have, have found gone, somebody. Could have tried to go Howard Mix and combo and dig around for yeah a stud running back. I just True. wanted some Gronk. Give me Gronk with Gurley. Got yeah yeah. Gronk and Gurley. There goes a the defense. Solid. Two defenses. Ooh, Phil better Ribs. get him. Phil Rivs off the board. See you, Phil. Peace, Phil Rivs. All right. Well, I think we're pretty I'm much. fine with Phil Rivs on my team. We got to get a quarterback here, right, on this next go round. Who? Check out the uh, draft board. Did Carson Wentz go to a team that already had a quarterback? Yeah, they don't even know he's not playing. No, no they don't have a quarterback. First quarterback. So he's going to be need another one. And he's going to pick again before it comes back around. That's fine. Short bench, but get, take all the quarterbacks you want. Roll my boy Andy Dalton out there. Them boys, week one at the Colts. Stream them. Crushing them. <laughs> the red rifle. He's men with red oh, hair. Oh, four defenses in a row. Thank you very much. That's crazy. This $150 league. What are they doing? Trying to get an advantage. With the Houston defense, huh? And there goes a kicker. Just, uh, just it's the second kicker off the board. Get us back on the clock, boys. Nine, Nine picks. Nine picks. We'll take some more starters. Y'all take keep on taking your kickers and defenses. We'll take more starters. On, put them that on just tells me that there is probably going to be some people who take two quarterbacks. Right. Yeah. For sure. We got it. So, I think it's Ben Roethlisberger for me right now. There's Jimmy, Pat Mahomes, oh, Matt Jimmy, Ryan, Jimmy. Mark, Mac, Marcus Mariota. Jared Goff probably, I guess he doesn't have too many high yardage games. I think uh, I think Noogie Burger's got to be our pick if he's there. I don't know if he's going to be there, though, with eight picks left. Sure he will. Totally fine taking Jared Goff. Yeah, but not if Noogie's there. No, I wouldn't take Jared Goff over Noogie, but again, if We're we... calling him Noogie! If we could... <laughs> Roethlisberger... <laughs> James Conner off the board. Looks like a noogie burger. Mm. Is that is that to the team with Lev Bell? I don't think so because Carson Wentz guy has Lev Bell. So someone just grabbed uh, on the off chance that Lev doesn't report. Which would break my heart. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty crazy. Eighteen hundred dollars worth of leagues that matter just to <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell in it. That's all. That's it. <laughs> Every single one of of your 20 FFPC leagues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I got one league that doesn't have Le'Veon Bell. Gotcha. <laughs> come on, Le'Veon. <laughs> Good need you to come on to camp there, bub. <laughs> he just was like, I'm not coming Labor Day. No. Got stuff to do. I just got a party, probably. Something real cool. This guy getting timed out. Three, two, 
One. Come on, kicker defense. Duke Johnson. Oh, solid pick there at the last second. There's going to be weeks when you're going to need Duke Johnson, I feel oh, like. Duke Johnson's getting totally disrespected right mm-hmm. now. Seven picks away. <sighs> this is just screw sh- sh- being on the clock, waiting. Waiting around, trying to fill airspace. So what words. are we thinking here? Are we thinking we, we're taking a quarterback here, or are we just going to keep passing? I think if Rollinsberger's there, we got to grab him. If he's not, we could... I mean, Eli Manning's probably going to throw for a bunch of yards. Andy Dalton, whatever we want. Somebody Come took on. Mahomes. Oh, man. There's got to be a Steelers fan within the next six picks for sure. So many dang Steelers fans in the world. I like this Kelvin Benjamin. Sure. Coming back around here. Oh, yeah. Kelvin's a solid pick. I like Keelan Cole a ton. I mean, Peyton Barber's still just hanging out. Wow. He can't just holding my breath. He can't do it. There's no way he makes it. Nah. If these running backs don't fall off the board, we're going to have a fist fight in here over taking Roethlisberger. Yeah. I'm not taking Roethlisberger if Peyton Barber and and uh, don't see it. What Rashad Penny? Uh, I mean, I could. I'm Hello. down. I'm down with taking Sony. I'm Brita. down with taking Powell. I'm down with Sony? taking Penny. Yes, let's take Pat. Let's take Sony. Be my first share of Sony Michelle going into the season. Yeah, I don't have any Sony. Oh, TJ right here could take Peyton Barber. There goes Keelan Cole, bummer, and Mike Williams. Don't do it. Give them to us. <laughs> there's, there's still four, four picks. picks left. We got. We need to wait till there's one pick left to pull our hair out over this thing. Show me the wide receivers. But I think with Sony Michelle sitting right there, I think that makes me feel a lot better about the running back situation. Tyler there's, Lockett. There goes Tyler. These boys. So we got three bench spots left. Probably need one more receiver. Yeah. I'm just going to punt on tight ends for now since this bench is so short. If we need a Gronk replacement, we'll pick one up. Man, right. on it, same thing with the wide receivers here. Let's pile. Let's pile some running backs on here. Well, I, I actually like I, the only reason I, I like Kelvin Benjamin because there's volume upside and there's TD upside. Right. Out of all these guys that are left, I like how much there's volume. Definitely volume, could be going but this I mean, way. first week they play Ravens, they're going to get shut out. Maybe they're going to get the crap kicked out of them. Maybe is is that corner? Is Smith? We're not playing in week one. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, we could be. I mean, we'd have to get a couple guys hurt on the team bus. I mean, are we playing to... Josh Gordon week one? I guess we probably, got Kenny Stills. Probably not playing well, Josh we got, Gordon week Well, one. that's a good call, but we do have Kenny Stills. Tariq Cohen. And Bobby Woods. Man, Bobby Woods. Uh, but we need another receiver going before we end this draft. Peyton Barber off the board. No. <sighs> Two picks left. Sony's still there. Kelvin, so it's Sony, it's Kelvin, it's uh, Noogie Burger. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> That's pretty much what I got here. We got two picks, so three players need to go off the board, one of them being us at the end of that. There goes Balal Powell. We got one more pick here. So what are we doing? I'd I like, like I like Brita, I like Cohen, I like Penny, I like Michelle. I think we need to try to get two of those guys. I, w- I wouldn't mind taking Kelvin Benjamin and one of those guys. There's probably more running backs to choose from. We could, unless it's Sony, unless we want to grab Sony. And if he doesn't Marlon grab Max Sony here, here but basically we grab we could Sony. Put three skill position, three more skill positions on our team. I would love to get Sony and Kelvin here. We're not going to get Roethlisberger, but whatever. Probably still could get him. Matt Ryan in the worst. Jared Goff. Yeah. There's still some teams that need defenses, so <laughs> just a couple. It's possible we could get a get a solid another quarterback on the next go. What's he gonna do? Just make a pick. Just make a pick. And sixteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, he's got 10 seconds left. Just do it. Don't take Sony. Don't take Sony. Yeah. He took Jack Doyle. That's a very solid pick. Are we taking Sony? Yeah, let's take Sony. All right. 
I like that. That pick. was quick. I like a that quick pick. Crack Wendy's whooping tail. I like that pick a ton. Could really pan out for us. Really could. Do we have? That's just our second New England Patriot, right? Yeah. <laughs> we talked about several others. So okay, so we probably need another wide receiver to start week one. So Kenny Stills could be that guy. We don't want to play Baldwin either. I know, but we're not going to play Josh Gordon, so we could play Stills. Right, and we're playing. We're fine playing Baldwin. I think so. I mean, I'm week one's good as any week. Yeah, I think right, so. right for sure. So we don't need Kelvin, but I mean, I'm down. I like Kelvin a ton this year. Oh, cheap John Ross, good pick, good pick on the cheap John Ross stab there. Ah, not when Kelvin Benjamin's still out there. Oh, so it's Ben Roethlisberger, Brita. There goes Matt there goes Brita. Oh. Oh, Ben Roethlisberger or Ke- Kelvin Benjamin? Big Ben. I'm out on Rashad Penny. He's not getting my vote. Y'all both have to vote for him. I mean, I could take Tariq Cohen. Dice roll on Tariq Cohen just to see what pops up. Maybe we get Lucky Sevens. Or Marlon Mack. Risky, though. Jordan Wilkins. Starting week one. I think one. I like Cohen the best out of those. Cohen's worth a dice roll. Star him up real quick. Who else we got? Start up Kelvin or to, Tariq Cohen. Casey put a star on Rashad Penny. Marlon Mack. Jordan Wilkins. There's Nick Chubb. We got Carlos Ooh. Hyde. Ty Montgomery. Way down Ty here. Montgomery. He's probably going to be on the waiver wire. Mm-hmm. All right. Hit the, okay. hit the wide Kelvin. receivers. 35 seconds left. It's Kelvin or bust. I think Kelvin's going to get my vote here. I say we dice roll. Uh, Tariq Cohen, if they come out and just dot him up week one. You got John Brown, Cam Meredith might blow up. You got Quincy and Numa might get a ton of targets week one for the Jets. Yeah, that's a lot of mites, but the Kelvin Benjamin is I, yeah, solid. Take him then. I, you said a bunch of mites. I mean, Kel, I think the Bills are going to no, get star him up week one. And we got Kelvin Ooh. Benjamin. That was a close one. We'd much rather have Cohen, but we can live with Kelvin Benjamin. And now we have 20 picks till we pick. Still no quarterback. Nah. Just couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't pull the trigger. Couldn't do it. I mean, we have Jordan Howard. Do we want two parts and pieces of that Bears offense? That's a good point. I wasn't even bench. really thinking about that when weighing my decision. Uh, I think it helps me. I'd rather, uh, if you got Jordan Howard, sure, give me Cohen, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Josh Doxson's a good pick left. Some... Good upside there. Josh Doxson's got some good upside. So Matt Ryan, DJ Moore off the board. A couple picks going back the other way now. No way Roethlisberger makes it back. I just, I think we're going to get a, another stab at somebody who's running back-wise who's got plenty of upside. So we got one bench spot, right? We got one skill position left that we can put on the team. Short bench is tough, boy. But it makes for... Make, it gives you the option, the ability to go hard in the paint for those high upside, high risky guys to begin the draft because you see what's going to be on the waiver wire here. There's only two more rounds of picks and well, kickers like, and defenses, but well, yeah, who cares? <laughs> so, but I mean, most people have already taken some of those, so that yeah, you know, there's gonna be yeah, skill I guess position players still going off. But. Yeah. All right, we're an hour and five minutes into this thing. And uh, what round is this? This is 11. This thing's moving right along with a 90-second clock for the listeners. I mean, I don't, I can't even really speculate on where I want to go. I'm just going to let a decent amount of pieces fall off here. And obviously, we're taking a quarterback with one of these next picks. Got and to. Like it's required. We're going to definitely have to. Man. And some good players are probably going to end up on the waiver wire week one because people don't have the patience to wait. And yeah. people that they drafted, and yep. somebody else will be the flavor of the week, and they'll scoop them up and drop them because they got the short happens. bench. You're going to be looking for those sec- week, week two rebounds, those easy rebounds right underneath the, be- underneath the glass there. <laughs> Brandon LaFell signed to the Raiders. I don't know why Michael I just Gallup. I'm just looking through player news here. 
Antonio Callaway will start week one. I guess that's over Josh Gordon. Right. I mean, Gordon's going to play. Right. But. I'm not trying to play him, I guess, week one, though. Matt Bryant, awesome. I mean, I like Matt Bryant. You should be able to get him in the last round, but. Solid to see him go there. There's Geronimo Allison as well. Taking off the board. We're just 15 picks left to go. Wait in a round. There goes Tariq Cohen. Solid pick. We definitely so we definitely don't need another wide receiver. Oh, I kept forgetting this whole time we have to start three wide receivers. Right, that's why I was saying. Solid Kelvin Benjamin pick. That's why I was saying that we needed to have an Right. Solid Kelvin Benjamin pick right there. I feel much I feel better about taking that. Robert Woods Benjamin. is our third starter. It's not like we're Robert subbing Robert Woods in for Yeah, he's starting line, he's in the lineup each and every week. So we're looking at the makeup of some of these teams. Still fourteen picks left till we get on the board. What do you guys got here? I don't know. It's kind of you're just kind of waiting and seeing what people are going to leave you with. Yeah, but we got we got to we got to bring something up here. We can't just be silent. Got that, got that smack talk in the right hand corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> Eat ass, Mike. I wanted to reek. <laughs> well, if you wanted him, get him before the eleventh round. Right, he fell. He was around way too long. All right, so we got Josh Gordon, Doug Baldwin, risky, risky, but tons of upside. We kind of just took Doug Baldwin by default there. Maybe we wanted Lamar Little Miller. Name power there out of Doug Baldwin. Robert Woods, Gurley, Jordan Howard, R Gronk, Carlos in the flex right now, but could flex Stills or Sammy if he's crushing. We got Sony Michelle and then Calvin Benjamin. Sony Michelle could really be awesome. I like he's back doing uh, positional drills. Hey yo, what was that? Got a, somebody's got a message. Oh, a cell phone. There goes Rashard Matthews, Helen Hearns. I like both of those picks. They're definitely going to catch some balls. Someone you can put in your lineup. Feel pretty decent about it. Probably Rashard Matthews. I feel more. Oh, there goes Jimmy G. Oh, 10 picks left. And right now, Roethlisberger is the top quarterback on the board. So he probably is going to get picked. There goes George Kittle. We're moving along. We're moving along. It's going to be interesting to see what running backs are left when we get up here. Anthony Miller off the board. I guess I'd be all right with Rashad Penny at this point. Oh, what, you're goddamn right you would be. What's the latest, uh, what's the news on him? Is he... He's fat and a broken finger. Right. <laughs> he gained 16 pounds since the combine. What is that? That's an issue, right? Not cool. That's not... Cast removed. He has cast removed. Now he can start eating more? Because he's got a free... He's All got right, two the fat free jokes hands. aren't funny, Jason. He's got two free hands. I just, I'm weary of a running back that's gaining weight. Who the other ones the notable ones is gain weight. They're not good. <laughs> Marlon Mack off the board. Was hoping we'd get a shot at him. It's kind of a bummer. He's he's a solid little lottery ticket. Because he's looked so electric every time he's touched the ball almost. Yeah, just he's too electric for his own hamstring. Yeah. Ooh, Seahawks placed running back McKissick on injured revert reserve. Mm -hmm. Here we go, CJ Procise. CJ Procise. You said his name. It's like Beetlejuice. You weren't supposed to say his name. Why not? I don't know. You're going to unjinx jinx it. The porcelain doll doesn't need any. We're, you... we're driving halfway across the country. The last thing we need is bad luck. <laughs> spilled the salt. CJ Prosai spilled some salt a long time ago. Did not throw it over his shoulder. Might get a chance this year. Talk about someone that's electric when he touches the ball. Going to need some CJ Prosai in my life this yeah. year. 
He's a uh, cult favorite here at Married to the Game. Been on his. There goes Penny. Been on his jock for a while. Just can't stay healthy. It's just one thing after another. But he's still on the roster. I mean, it's looking like Ty Montgomery's probably going to be the pick for us. Or yeah. Jordan Wilkins. I, I think I'd rather have Ty Mont. Woo, give me Ty Montgomery. Is Noogie Burger still there? We should take Noogie Burger at. And not I'm not. If you say his name like that one more time, I'm not taking him at all. <laughs> That's unfair. I'll take Jared Goff or <laughs> out of spite. Yeah. Well, what, does the guy who picks in between our two picks does he have a quarterback already? Yes. I think it's Carson Wentz though, isn't it? No, or no, that's dude, Jabari. He's to the right of us. Which way are we going? That dude's got two. He's got. He's got Matt Ryan. The dude inside of He's us. got Matt Stafford. Stafford and somebody else. Uh uh-uh. uh. Andrew Brees. Okay, mm-hmm. so we don't need to take a quarterback with our first pick. But so we're getting our last bench spot here. Any defenses we need to look at? I mean, it's a fair question, because if Baltimore's up there, they got a sweet first round first week matchup. Can't risk uh missing out on whatever skill position player we're about to get, right? Denver's defense probably going to be pretty solid. They did lose to Lee, but they got Chubb. Go with Vaughn Miller, and Chris Harris still awesome. But, I mean, give me a give me a skill position player. What about the Nick Chubb? We got Carlos Hyde. Is that too short of a bench there? To, yeah. Because we could have that discussion. Tyler Eifert, Seals Jones, both pretty good picks to see what it shakes oh, out. Oh, there goes Roethlisberger. Oh. Right in front of us. Two picks left. Dilly dallied. See you, Noogie Burger. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Well, we got a choice to make it. QB now. Yeah. Mariota's not going to get you a bunch of bonus points for yardage. Jared Goff probably going to hit some big plays to Brandon Cooks. He's going to score a bunch of points. Gurley's going to catch some balls and break long touchdowns. But we don't need to take him with our next pick. Who are we getting here? Lame. Jordan Wilkins, Ty Montgomery. Oh, it's two quarterbacker over here drafts of Ben Roethlisberger <sighs> after they spent all that money on Tom Brady in that top spot what round that's was okay that? these boys will try to they'll they'll figure out Fifth what round starting three wide receivers and a flex is an extra spot in right. your lineup so they'll figure out real quick with that short bench that it's not as easy as they think to fill a roster every week and we'll get we'll be all there'll right there'll be some quarterbacks come out I'm I'm Swear I'd be all right starting this league with Andy Dalton. Devontae Parker, solid swing there late in, in the whatever like round that. it's in, 13th round. All right, so it's Jordan Wilkins, Ty Montgomery, Ronald Jones, or Nick Chubb. I guess I'm going Ty Mont. I Yeah, let's week one. Let's I mean, just we see could have the Nick with, Chubb discussion. Let's just, happen, let's just see what happens with Montgomery. I mean, week one, I don't think Nick Chubb's going to be out there exploding on us. Making oh, us Carlos Hyde's not the healthiest guy ever. So. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. If he go, if he gets hurt, he gets hurt. We'll yeah. go to the waiver wire. But Chubb might even be out on the waiver what, wire in this league. See what happens to Tom Montgomery. He's week like one. six running backs down on this list, and there's only. All right, so who plays who week one here between Mariota and Golf? Mariota's. Oh, you got to click on him. Hmm. I'll look it up. I think getting the mic there. Go to that Jared Jared Golf girly combo. I think Jared Golf plays Oakland. Look at it up. That's a pretty sweet week one matchup. The Rams play the Raiders. You're right. Monday night at ten twenty, and the Titans play the Dolphins on the road. Rams are also on the road in L.A. Basically, in Oakland. Game. They're in Oakland. Yeah. So I, I'm. 
I'd rather have golf over Mariota. Mariota, and if you're telling yeah. me to bet on who's going to get the most fantasy points, week one is Andy Dalton. Give me Jerry Goff. I'll take golf. Take golf. It's a good pick. Waited him out. Made him sweat. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised someone hadn't typed in here. You know you guys have to draft a quarterback, right? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Right. Thanks for – now I'll get one. Well, Thank I would have drafted one sooner, but you took Ben Roethlisberger just a second ago. Ugh, after mm-hmm. having Tommy. Well, I got, he's got a bye week. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, that's it. Well, we got we to wait it out on kickers and defenses here. Yeah. This is the time people tune out. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, good draft, boys. See you next year. Solid work. What's going on? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? So let's review some of these teams here. So Butch Creek got Leonard Fournette, Dalvin Cook to start it off with. Very strong. Followed that up with Kenyon Drake. Man after my own heart there. Three running backs. Then grabs Brandon Cooks in the fourth round. Then really blew it with Kirk Cousins in the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back. Makes up for it a little bit. Solid Marvin Jones and Devin Funches picks. Then he and then he then he grabs on the stabs on the uh, the monster child David and Joku. People are picking too fast for me to scroll through. Keeps bumping me back up. Yeah. Cordero Patterson, Muhammad Sanu, Danny Amendola all fall off the board. Back to this guy's team, and then he grabs a defense in the ninth round. He was doing so well. Then, then he grabs another, another quarterback. quarterback. And then Alan Hearns and Penny and Rashad Penny. So he's coming to the lineup every week as Funches is his wide receiver three. Funches is in his lineup every week with Alan Hearns as his fourth wide receiver. This guy is going to be looking for wide receiver on the waiver wire real quick. And he'll probably find it. Yeah, and he took Kirk Cousins with Russell Wilson still on the board. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, a bunch of guys went with Russell Wilson still on the board. This Yeah, did we miss something? 12th team with Julio, Kareem, Zach Ertz. They took carry on as their second RB. Wow. And they don't, and they even, don't have even have one. another one. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Julio, Kareem, Zach Ertz, Golden Tate, Russell Wilson, Corey Davis, Jamison Crowder, carry on, a Houston defense in the dang ninth round. A kicker in the 10th round. Another quarterback in the 11th round with Jimmy G. That David Johnson team looks good. David Johnson, Devontae Adams, T.Y., Cam Newton, Marshawn Lynch, Mark Ingram coming wow, back in a couple solid. of weeks. Crabtree. Yeah. Who else? How did he finish that out? Crabtree, Aaron Jones, Crowell, Tyler Lockett, Geronimo Allison, Seals Jones, good stab, Muhammad Sanu, veteran. You know who that is. That's TJ who listens to our podcast oh. every single week. Is it really? Yep. Yeah. That's <laughs> TJ. He loves nice. this podcast. Probably the only guy in this league that, I mean, I guess Michelle, plenty of people probably know about this. Well, yeah, I mean, Michelle and Derek. Is Derek in this league? I don't know. The only reason I know that's TJ because it's his, that's the name he uses always, and I really don't know anybody else. Let's see. I'll take a Jabari. look. And Jabari. Which is in the first spot there. Let's see. Armed Rodgery. That's Michelle. Blitzkrieg. I feel like I recognize these names. Jordan. That must be the Jordan that used to work at the Rev. All right, nobody cares who it is on the microphone, so. That's true. Huh. They might be listening, though, and then hear us. I yeah, mean, you're just trying to figure out if if you know people in the league, you can kind of. It's too late now. It's already been drafted. It is a little late for that, but what are you going to do? There goes C.J. Anderson, Mark Marcus Mariota, another kicker, O.J. Howard, all off the board. Eight picks to we pick. And we just need a defense next, right? You take a defense, then you take a kicker. Sure. It's not rocket surgery. Baltimore still hanging around. (laughs) Give me a shot at Baltimore, please. 
I think most people already took a defense. So Chicago might not be the worst that they play in the uh, NFC North. Chicago just got Khalil Mack. Let's go with uh, your boy Vic Vangio. So where are we at? We're going this way. So defense, defense. There's two people in front of us, but we don't have one here. Yeah, at least the only two left. There's no defense in front of us. All right. Well, hopefully they don't like Baltimore. There goes Ricky Seals Jones, or is that no? That's Ronald Jones, Nick Chubb, and Derek Carr off the board. There goes Baltimore. TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are we doing here, defense? There's Chicago, New England, Atlanta, Carolina, Green Bay, Arizona, Cincinnati. Seattle's really... Chicago has Green Bay week one. That sucks. Atlanta has the Eagles with Nick Foles and company. That could be a decent matchup. Mm -hmm. I think they got a pretty good defense. Nick Foles looked... So not MVP of the Super Bowl last time out. Right, and the Falcons have a good, good deep, been building a defense, got a good defense, defensive-minded head coach. If we had more time here, we definitely need to figure out a defense that plays a home week one, but Zona or Atlanta going, does not. Atlanta goes, Atlanta's at home. Oh, they do? Oh, wait, no, I'm no, looking at no, no, it's not they, at home. But they do go play against a backup quarterback, which is a – didn't we look at Green Bay last night in a different draft, Casey, for yeah. a decent home first-round matchup? We ended up taking Washington. Oh, Detroit. Detroit plays against the Jets. Gets rookie quarterback Sam Donald at, Donald at home. It's not a bad first round, first week flyer. Yeah, I don't hate that. I know that Washington has a decent matchup week one. I like their defense. Let's go... Uh Kind of like Atlanta. Atlanta versus Philly. Atlanta. Yeah, what's his name's out too? Take Atlanta. You got uh, what's his name on the pup? Alshon's on the pup. Don't have as many studs to dry, run around and chase. Yeah, Ajay's got a lower body injury. I mean, obviously this is a right. flyer situation here. You chase uh chase a defense and look for good matchups. Jordan Wilkins still available. I think we're all out of players, right? Yeah, we are. He, he, J Alshon Jeffrey was activated from the pup. He's yeah, not. On he's the not pup. on the pup. He's gonna miss. They're saying two games. Adam Schefter said he's gonna miss two games. Oh, okay. But he's not on the pup. He's not playing week one though. Right. Most likely. So what? Matt Prater's a dome kicker. In a solid offense. Will Lutz? Where's the Saints at week one? The Saints. Are at home versus the Bucks. Well, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Done. That's a wrap. We did it. Somehow we made it through. And our last three picks were quarterback, defense, kicker. Just like usual. That's how you do it. Well, missed out on Roethlisberger. Made a couple, of, maybe a couple of small errors in this draft, but I don't feel we got a lot of, about it. A lot of upside. Overall, I mean, we got a quarterback on the team that scored the most amount of points last year in the league. So, I mean, Jared Goff, will, he'll be serviceable. And some of these teams will be dropping quarterbacks before you know it. Right. And we'll have to decide whether we want to pick that quarterback up or just keep Goff. Right. right. Seeing if we could just get a big big screen of our team. I think it'll do it when it when it's over. But, I mean, you can just do teams right there. No, no, yeah. And then drop that down. So Jared Goff, Josh Gordon, Doug Baldwin, Robert Woods. Going to have to get Josh out of there for week one, put Kenny Stills in or Kelvin Benjamin. Oh, it feels so great to have Doug Early on our team. Yes, it does. And Gronk. Yes, it does. Some solid... Solid floor there with Jordan Howard, Carlos Hyde. Sony Michelle's fun. Sony and Sammy are fun. Kelvin's going to do some solid work. Ty Montgomery is going to be a piece we can decent, use. when Decent depth there at the very end there with Kelvin and Ty Montgomery. Absolutely. 
We got pieces. All right. Things break wire. Things break right, and Montgomery's an every week starter. Sure. Or things break right, and he's, he's off on the, the bench. team. <laughs> he's off the or team. He's on, yeah, he's, yeah, he's on the waivers. You can go pick up somebody else. Exactly. All right, well, you got anything else? No, nah, just uh, be sure to subscribe on any of your platforms of choice. If you're watching this YouTube video, please hit subscribe. It'll really help us out. If you're uh, listening to the podcast, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, uh, Stitcher, I said that. Let's see. iTunes for sure. Please go on iTunes. Hit that little five-star review for us. That would be tremendous. And uh, just make our day for sure. We have uh, Twitter, at the FF Dynasty. That's where we are. At IMC Myers, at Dynasty Big Co., at Jay Wayne's World. And then definitely go check out our website, theffdynasty.com. You can uh, find all of our content there, all the different videos. You can search for any player you like and if we've done a video or podcast on featuring that player it'll it'll pop up we've got a little bit of rookie rankings as well and don't you know come back if you just do redraft we're going to be giving you good information all year long and deciding who to play and, and keeping a good good beat on what's going on all over the nfl and uh and then if if you if you like what you heard and you want to get some more content that you can't find anywhere else or on patreon you can get to the Patreon from our webpage, theffdynasty.com, or you can go straight to patreon.com slash theffdynasty. We're putting out an extra... We, we basically said we're going to give you an extra hour of content every week. We've been going an hour 30, an hour 45. It's been going long, but there's already bunches of hours that you can go listen to stuff on Patreon you can't find anywhere else. We're also very active in the in the community chat in there, and um giving you answers to your questions we're, we're letting people ask questions in there and they get to have their questions answered on the show for uh, uh, for this point until we get too many questions and we're not able to answer every one of them but for right now you can really drive the show um, but let's go ahead and get this redraft thing done thanks for listening everyone casey could have head over to our website while i was talking about it but he's just upset that i'm still rambling so uh that'll do it thanks for joining us everyone You've been listening to the FF Dynasties, Married to the Game.